Hi students, in previous video I discussed about coordination compounds previous year need questions. We completed a few questions. In this video, remaining questions I am going to continue which are very very important. You know, while solving a question, I am going to cover two to three different models which gives you a clear idea so that you can, you can use this and you can solve other questions easily. Which of the following has longest CO bond length? And this is a topic from metal carbonyls. What are metal carbonyls? Metal and this carbon monoxide is a ligand. Carbon monoxide is a ligand. Some X molecules are there. And here you can observe this NiCO4, COCO4, FeCO4-2, MnCO6. Like this different ligands is there. I will tell you a small uh, trick. Before going through the trick first, what happens in this case? CO is a ligand. It donates electricity electrons to the metal when electron density on metal increases then this metal you know it, it it want to decrease its electron density because when electron density increases its stability decreases so to increase its stability whatever the electrons donated by this CO again it tries to donate back this we say it is a back bonding back bonding back bonding where it donate this CO donates its electrons to the vacant d orbital of metal and this metal donates its electron back to the pi star orbital means anti-bonding of CO. It donates to the anti-bonding first year you studied right anti-bonding molecular orbitals in chemical bonding to that it donates. When it donates back like this a pi bond will be formed fine. What is the bond order formula half into number of electrons in bonding minus number of electrons in anti-bonding. Now here this metal is donating this electrons to the anti-bonding orbitals. When it is donating to the anti-bonding orbital from a total value or subtracting something so obviously bond order decreases which bond order decreases between in CO the bond order decreases why it is decreasing because metal is donating electrons back why metal is donating CO is donated here here between metal and a metal and a carbon partial double bond character is created why because metal is donating electrons so mc bond strength increases mc bond strength increases simple logic is bond strength is inversely proportional to bond length so bond strength increases bond length decreases and here the, between these two metal and carbon bond strength increases whereas C and O bond order decreases bond order is nothing C O bond order decreases bond order decreases in the sense bond strength decreases more is the number of bonds more is the bond strength so bond strength decreases then bond length increases bond length increases I this point you note it down in your book which is very very important so when when CO acts as a ligand then what is happening my dear students here CO bond length is increasing CO bond length is increasing more is a negative charge on a metal more is a negative charge on a metal which means that which means that more electron density more is the electron density then back bonding takes place when back bonding increases electrons donates to anti bonding molecular orbitals then bond order decreases bond order decreases bond length increases so in which case longest bond is in which case highest electron density is there that option you have to choose if they ask you the order first priority for more negative charge more negative charge then next negative charge three Second option, then no negative charge one and last one is which is having positive charge. In such a way, you have to select the order if they ask you. So, your answer is third option. And next question, the hybridization involved in a complex NiCN4 2 minus. First, find the oxidation number of central atom central atom what is the oxidation state ni plus 4 cns each cn is minus 1 total charge is minus 2 so nickel oxidation state is plus 2 plus 2 means argon actually 3d8 4s2 is a nickel configuration but you are removing two electrons so it will be argon 
थ्री डी एट फोर एस जीरो हियर सी एन माइनस इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग फील लिगेंड वेन इट इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग फील लिगेंड एज ए टोल्ड यू इन अ प्रीवियस केस बाय सींग दिस ओनली डायरेक्टली वी कैन से कोर्डिनेशन नंबर फोर एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग फील लिगेंड वॉट इज अ सिंपल ट्रिक हाइब्रिडाइजेशन विल बी डी टू एस पी थ्री एक्सेप्ट मेटल कार्बनिल राइट Now how many are there electrons? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why I am doing like this? Because each CN is a strong field ligand, and pairing takes place. Now one D, one S, and two Ps undergoes hybridization. First they overlap, they combine. Later ligand CN comes and donate two two electrons in each orbital, and it forms you know DSP two. Ah, uh, each into each DSP two hybrid orbital it donates and it forms a complex. So here hybridization is D two sp three. What is your answer? D two sp three. Sorry, D two D sp two D sp two. Next question: The name of the complex ion. What is the name? How you have to find the name? What is the rule? This is an ion. This is an ion. In case of ion, you have to see the charge. If the charge is a negative, what is the what are the rules? Do you remember the rules? If it is a negative charge, is there what is the name? You have to central atom. You should give central atom. Ferrate eight. You have to give eight. It should end with the eight. If it is present within the uh, neutral or a positive complex, simply you have to take iron only. There is no change. But when negative charge is there only, you have to end with the eight word. Eight word. Now this is what ferrate. Ferrate. Hmm. Uh, remaining cases is scandate, vanadate, uh, uh, chromate, manganate. All this. But iron case you we. Use the word ferrate, okay? And silver case also we use argentate. Gold case we use aurate. Like few exceptions are there where we won't use directly metal name. We use their Latin names. And here ferrate. After that, find its oxidation state. Fe plus six Cn. Each Cn is minus one. Then total charge is equal to minus three. Here, Fe oxidation state is plus three. Always, you have to represent oxidation state in Roman numbers after central metal atom ferrate three, and it is having a negative charge or uh, charge is there. So you have to write it. How many uh, cyanides are there? Six cyanides. Six ligands are there. All first, we need to write a ligand. So hexa cyanido. Cyanido. It's a new convention. Few they say cyano, cyano also correct. The cyanido also correct. Old convention is cyano. New convention is cyanido. After that, ferrate, ferrate, and write that the three oxidation number in Roman numbers and iron. Hexa cyanido ferrate three iron. This is the option. Correct option. Hexa cyanido ferrate three iron. Question number nine: The sum of ox coordination number and sum of coordination number and oxidation number of the metal in the complex. Few students have done mistake during this year. Even though they are good students, they just saw this coordination number. They marked it and came. You have to read the question properly. Coordination number as well as the oxidation number also they are asking. In this case, M E N T Y C two O four C L is there. C two O four is oxalate ion. Its oxalate ion two donors are there, and it is a bidentate ligand. It is a bi two sigma bonds. It forms one two. That's why it is a bidentate ligand. It is a bidentate ligand. C two O four is two. It forms two bonds. Each ethylene diamine forms two bonds. As I told you, N H two. NH two, CH two, CH two, NH two. It is it is having two donor atoms. Both will be linked in such a way and form two sigma bonds. So here one two and it forms one two total four and one more EN is there right total six bonds six coordination number is six and what is the oxidation state? C two O four minus two C two O four minus two here minus one minus one. It is having minus two oxidation state, and Cl is having minus one. It is a neutral ligand, so total oxidation state is minus three. If it comes this side, it will be plus three. Metal is having plus three oxidation state, and coordination number six. Six plus three is nine. Its sum is nine. Option number D. And coming to the question number ten.
number of possible isomers for the complex this already we discussed about this complex in a previous video for isomer case right see here this is the ion if it dissociate uh, this is the ion already we discussed this question but not for isomerism calculation whether it is exhibits a gi or not we discussed now see it exhibits gi or not how to how to identify how to identify two structures what i showed you these are the two structures question number 3 i think 3 or 4 we discussed this hmm these two by seeing these two these two are on the same plane and if you cut if if a plane passes through the molecule like this and whenever an imaginary plane cuts the molecule and gives the two equal halves we can say it is having plane of symmetry if plane of symmetry is present it is optically inactive it is not optically active if you see in this case if you cut a plane like this if a plane passes like this you get two equal halves and it is having pos if you think in such a way it is completely wrong because it is not having pos why why it is not having pos ma'am because here if you cut like this we are getting two equal halves no but no we should not think in such a way let's see the let's see the structure of how pos structure will be this is a this is a observe this is a like this okay this paper at four corners these are the four corners four corners four ligands are there four four corners these are four corners and at this is a top one this is a down one this is down one octahedral octahedral in this octahedral how the complex is present in this case one which is present at a top this the here and here ligand is connected in such a one ethylene diamine how it is connected from here and here it is donating in such a way linkage is like that and one two chlorides chlorides are present like this okay two chlorides are present like this and one more is present this this corner corner and down another atom will be present right like this another atom down and this atom and this corner will be linked in such a way linkages if you cut in such a way for seeing in a 2d structure you may uh, this this uh, topic i clearly explained in uh, isomerism video as i told you go through that uh, isomerism for mono and bi i did two videos which will be very helpful for you here just i am giving you a hint how to do that that's it if you cut in such a way this goes to another plane it comes into another plane that's why it is not having plane of symmetry it is optically active when it is optically active two forms are possible one is a d another one is a l means light can it can rotate the light if you take this solution in polarimeter this solution in polarimeter and if you pass a plane polarized light this solution this complex is optically active this solution rotates the light either towards the right or either towards the left both it rotates that's why two isomers are possible in this case and a trans is one isomer two optically active one optically inactive total number of isomers are three okay total number of isomers are three optically active optical isomers okay optical isomers total number of optical isomers next question cobalt 3 chloride forms several octahedral complexes with ammonia which of the following will not give test for chloride ions with a silver nitrate to give a test with a silver nitrate suppose this is a complex if it is having any cl's outside if you treat with a silver nitrate this ag reacts with the cl and it forms agcl but in this case they are telling that it is not giving any reaction with this silver nitrate which clearly shows that there is no chlorides outside there is no chlorides outside we have only complex so in the, in in this uh, four options only complex is which case it is possible let us see here cobalt and three ammonia and cl is there cobalt if you calculate in this in this complex it is in plus 3 oxidation state here also plus 3 plus 3 plus 
plus 3. Usually in plus 3 state, it shows a coordination number 6. What is the coordination number of students? In plus 3 state, coordination number is 6. Around cobalt, 6 ligands should be there. In this case, how many ammonias? 5 ammonia. So, write 5 ammonia and 1 chlorine you should write because total sum should be 6. And one if you write 1 chlorine inside, you have to write remaining chlorine outside, 2 chlorines outside. So, it gives, it reacts because 2 Ag, 2 Cl's are there. It reacts with the 2 moles of HgNO3 and 2 moles of precipitate will be formed. Do in all the cases like that. But in this case, if you observe CO, NH3, only 3 are there, but coordination number of cobalt is 6. So, write those 3 also inside. This is not having any ion, any chloride outside. So, if you treat with AgNO3 also, you won't get any precipitate here. I hope uh, uh, you feel, I hope you enjoyed this video and practice the questions the more you practice the number of questions you know the more confidence you you get utilize your time to maximum extent go through the previous videos many uh, neat preparation series i have done on different different chapters practice, utilize those videos and get benefit of that my name is komali i'm your chemistry mentor thank you so much for watching